us up. Get them up. Come on. Set it off. Here's Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five playing the world famous Paradise Theater in the Bronx. Places jumping. Scream! Look at it. Capacity crowd. Eager fans lined up and down the sidewalk, spending their money back in August 2007. But look at the Paradise Theater now. The fabled Queen of the Bronx looms over the Grand Concourse like a lost soul, empty, dark, and silent. It's a nightmare when I ride by there and I look at it. Shelby Joyner of On the Rocks Entertainment is one of several promoters, most of them Bronx born and bred, who told Unit 9 there's trouble in this paradise. It's money lost for promoter Eric King of Black Monopoly Records. I mean, you know, $43,000 just up in smoke. Here's promoter Charles Leake of Heart and Soul. I was frightened. You know, there, there's no other way to say it. Promoter Fabio Watkins of the Mogul Group. I think it's disgusting that someone could come into our community and and do this to us. And promoter Damon Van Dyke, Great Dane Entertainment. It's really embarrassing to say, I got robbed, you know. The promoters all point to Joseph Gentile. He's the guy who's managing the Paradise Theater, but many claim Gentile's not paying people or bills. I was never so embarrassed in my entire life. Deaconess Cheryl Forbes of the Walker Memorial Baptist Church organized her pastor's 25th anniversary party, dinner, and a show at the Paradise Theater. There was a $7,000 payment for lights and sound. She gave Joe Gentile a church check marked refundable. They had the dinner, but the concert was canceled. So where's the refund? Have you gotten it? Not a penny. Have you asked for it? Yes, I have. What do you get as a response? No response. It's not a joke. These are people hard-earned money, and basically, they don't have the ability to fight back. It's the Bronx version of Paradise Lost. This grand old theater reopened about three years ago after $25 million in renovations. The new owner leased it to a manager named Gabriel Boder. Boder ran it for a little over a year, but then he got sick, and so turned the Paradise over to Joe Gentile. So, who is Joe Gentile? He's married to actress Kathy Moriarty, a Bronx native, as she points out in this BronxNet broadcast. It's always very important to give back. Give back to your community. At the 2007 Bronx Ball, Gentile and Moriarty announced they had taken over management of the Paradise in March with the hearty endorsement of Bronx Borough President Adolfo Carrion. And I'm very glad that they did that because we know that the Bronx is back. But promoters say their problems began after Joe Gentile took over the paradise. King says Gentile made big promises. The pitch that they gave me is that we want to build somebody up from the urban community. King, like most promoters, didn't hire a lawyer to look over the paperwork. Okay. Charles Leake found and he yeah. didn't like Gentile's contract. There was a lot of points that we didn't agree with and told us to go ahead and revamp the contract and make your points and come back. When we came back with the money for the deposits, um, Mr. Gentile was nowhere to be found. Leek says he began booking his show in good faith, even though revamped contracts bore only his signature, not Gentile's. Like Joyner and Damon Van Dyke, Leek used the theater's Ticketmaster account. Then, right before the show, Leek says Gentile wanted extra concessions. He gets our rate and says, well, if you're not going to do that, then I'm going to charge you 10000 10, more on, on your rental because I didn't sign the contract. Faced with last minute threats to cancel his May 10th show, Leek says he agreed to this list of additional charges on May 9th. We were up against the wall. We had no other choice. Leek's contract called for final settlement May 21st. That hasn't happened. As for other promoters, to pay Shelby Joyner, Gentile agreed to let him promote three rent-free shows at the Paradise. Not for Bayo Watkins. She told Gentile to keep his contract. She wanted no part of it. But she says he also kept her $10,000 in upfront money. Why give somebody money without a contract? And it's the same thing we did at the Beacon Theater, and we didn't have any problem. Eric King pawned his jewelry to help finance his hip-hop show. Gentile canceled the event with a letter claiming King failed to pay the agreed-upon fee, obtain approval in advance, and complete an event plan. He can't afford a lawyer. I don't even really know what to make. I mean, it just left me totally stressed out. Many promoters say, according to Ticketmaster, their shows at the Paradise did extremely well. Van Dyke figures his event probably grossed $230,000. But Ticketmaster, of course, sent the proceeds to the account holder, Paradise Theater. 
Mm -hmm. And you have yet to see a dime. Not a dime. I start getting phone calls from every promoter that he stole the money from them. The former lawyer, Paradise manager, money, Gabriel you know, Boder, says Gentile still owes him money, too. He owes me $750,000. But people who demand their money back, Boder says, get sued by Gentile's company called Mossberg Credit Services. He's in court with Gentile, too. Motions and lawsuits and motions and lawsuits. They put in a pressure on any person. Gentile's company's also suing the theater's owner, Gerald Lieblick. But Lieblick claims Gentile owes him more than a half million dollars in use and occupancy fees, money a judge recently ordered Gentile to start paying. In court papers, Lieblick's attorney state plaintiff has one goal to avoid paying any monies and that Gentile's complaints are a smokescreen, nothing more than a red herring. It's evident that plaintiff is broke and does not have the funds to pay. Unit 9 has also confirmed the theater owes thousands of dollars in unpaid electric and heating bills. The theater's liquor license is still registered to voter, and according to the New York State Liquor Authority, Gentile should have applied for his own license. The Paradise Theater today, they have a, such a bad name that I don't think any promoter will go there and do the show. We asked Bronx Borough President Carrion for a comment. He refused. Unit 9 tried several times to set up an interview with Mr. Gentile and his attorney, Christopher Thompson. Are you going to talk to us? Our latest attempts were yesterday. There's a chain on the door. It's locked. They did not appear. In a letter to Unit 9, Thompson maintains Gentile has brought lawsuits against a number of promoters for money allegedly owed to him. He says, my client denies owing any of these defendants a single cent. Also, he won't comment on lawsuits brought by us against former management, Gabriel Boder, or disgruntled promotional partners. We replaced this former group because they have collectively failed to meet their contractual obligations and are unable to provide the high standards our community deserves. We put our heart, blood, and soul into promoting that theater. And to see it just be vacated like that with no shows and no heartbeat in there, it's just... In the meantime, several agencies are investigating. We'll update you on any developments. I'm Brenda Flanagan, Unit 9.